Well, this is going to be a different video today. I decided that I didn't have time to go to the garage sales. Um, our air conditioner died last night, so there's a service tech coming in an hour. Um, Johnny doesn't like to be here with people and waking Jacob up. He was up to like three or four this morning because his room is the hottest one in the house. So we're going to do a shipping video. This all this mess, I'll go over all of it real quick and then show you what I've got to ship. I uh, picked this uh, rechargeable battery up at a Walmart. It's a it's a Hero Four. I have well, it doesn't fit the five. Uh, I paid five bucks for it. Uh, I got sixteen ninety five shipped. It should go first class. I mean, it weighs nothing, so I, probably two sixty. Pick this guy up um, at an estate sale. I think I paid two dollars for it. As you can see in the box, um, the condition is new, but it, it has been opened. But I don't. I really don't think it's been used. Uh, someone who bought it uh, sent me a message one day when I was shipping it because I was on my little adventures and. It's probably going to go. Uh, that's a good one. I will come back to that one. It should go cubic. But uh, I got thirty dollars for that shipped. This guy here is an Amazon return. I took the stick off the bottom. It's a little sticky. Um, the another one of the famous order it and it sent it back because Amazon probably because Amazon built bent this in shipping. Um, what did I get for it? I got the big. Uh, <laughs> One of the big screens open. I'm trying not to make y'all so dizzy by. Uh, we got $14.95 shipped. So I don't know what I had in it. This guy here paid 40 bucks at Walmart. I intended to put the night owl system up. It's got four infrared cameras. So I was going to wire this building for security. And then I found Ar the Arlo system on sale for $199 for three wireless cameras. So this keeps the big guy. From having to climb around the attic and deal with the insulation paid 40 bucks for that it was on clearance um, I got 125 ships and it's gonna go FedEx it's kind of heavy it's probably 12 pounds I bought these guys at an auction uh, this is the last batch of them it's rodent sheriff um, I got 2298 shipped they go um, cubic and they're seven dollars and they're about seven dollars and forty cents a ship um i paid paid a dollar fifty for for each one so i got three dollars in them and i had 70 of them these guys i think i was showing in a video with steve and i were talking about them one day a couple weeks ago finally got them listed and they sold pretty quick uh i got the one with the silver part on i got 29 this one i got 20. um uh, i picked these up for a dollar or two i don't pay hardly anything for them um I guess I need a better box for this one. Make sure it didn't leak. Um, this was a hard to find item that I was hunting um, about six months ago. Where I was getting fifty some dollars or two for this stuff. Uh, I got thirty dollars shipped on eBay. Evidently, people have found it, or who knows? But they've changed the formula on it from twenty percent to ten percent. And then, last but not least, I have eleven items to ship. I have these phones here. These are part of the, the lot that I bought. I had like, or I, I had 200 or 200 some phones. This one is a 9608. Um, I don't have the stands. With the stands, I was getting $29. Without the stands, I'm getting $19.95. I've got one person who bought one. I've got one person who bought two. And I've got one person who bought six. So I have three sets of them. The six of them, but probably, since I'm already going to FedEx anyway with this one, we'll go FedEx most likely. The the one with two and the one with one um, will drop off the post office. That's the other reason for yard sales. Me canceling on yard sales is my post office is only open from 9.30 to 11.30. And since I've been gone a week and I'm all backed up with all this stuff, you know, I decided it was probably more prudent to, to get some work done and, and get this out today. Um, even though I have I have until Monday or Tuesday to ship it because I extended out my times and if I if I turn around this way Do I really need anything else to stick in here right now? Don't judge <laughs> So I'm getting busy shipping these um, I'll come back and show you the, the finished product what everything looks like and uh, So yeah, and then you guys can go with me to the post office because it is so much fun
Hopefully this microphone's working. That was the main reason for this video was to test this microphone rig that I've got. And yesterday's video, I talked about how the it didn't fit. Well, Mr. Dremel made it fit. <laughs> All right, I got everything boxed over there. Uh, you can see I just filled a drink on them. That's all right. They're dry. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know what this is, I know most people on the channel are pretty old hats to uh, eBay, but if there's someone who knew, hadn't, doesn't know what that is, that is a box resizer. Um, basically, it has measurements here on the side. You can, uh, this box is going FedEx, most likely, so the dimensions will will determine that it what it weighs. I mean, what, what weight they charge me for the box is generally, uh, and when you have dimensions, um, it's generally they generally charge you more than what's actually in the box so anyway um basically i just put it on the as far down as i want it tighten it down and you're going to score all the walls You have to cut the corners out so I just stick the blade right on the dotted lines. Usually I use a box cutter, but this knife is pretty sharp. It's had all that practice from opening up all the Amazon fails. And then basically all you have is pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Some people leave it here like this. Um, I don't like the way that fold looks the inside mm. we'll use this again um, so I cut it back to the middle like it was before and just fold that out you'll, you'll watch uh, a lot of people who ship everybody has their own shipping method um, so that's it that makes the fold right there um just like it was before because when they overlap these have a tendency to push up which i don't like um so but i leave these in here just any more in the box um strength is better so we will grab a roll of uh whatever this is newspaper in. this stuff really doesn't weigh anything so don't be scared to use it I don't want it to move around the box. And I am a big proponent of three inch tape. When I alter a box like this, I try to make sure that the uh, the seams right here, where the box was, where, where it naturally folded, lay down because that's going to be somewhere that that uh, there might be a little weakness. But all I have to do now is I have to remeasure the box because it's going to be dimensional, and then let's see the weight is. I think it's about 12 pounds. 11 pounds, 12 ounces. Yeah, 12 pounds, 12 ounces. I always add a couple ounces uh when you're doing usps or anything there's it's 11 pounds it's 11 pounds to 12 pounds so it doesn't matter if it's 12 ounces or 14 ounces and the box is is 18 by 14 it's supposed to be by 12 but i know it's not by 12 anymore uh 18 by 14 by eight so we cut off four inches there so that's going to save uh in just a minute i will come back and i'll tell you when i actually put the label on here i'll put the original one in and then the other one in and tell you what i saved just by cutting it you can get those on amazon i think i've got them i'll have them listed on my tools and below make sure i've got a link to it uh it's like 11 or 12 bucks but you'll see pretty quickly that uh three and two and three and two and three and two and three add up a lot of people will have tell you you can just score uh 
Dusty's the one who's working his father's UPS store. So he can cut this box down without that and uh, it'll look halfway normal. Mine, it'll be, this side will be high, this side will be low. It'll, it'll be all crooked and the gaps will be bad. Um, that's just easier for me to have a nice, uh, nice normal looking uh, shipping box. Okay, so you're probably thinking bearded picker. So why did you go through all the trouble to show us that box? Um, FedEx, it's $16.93 for the regular box the way before I cut it down. And it's uh, $14.83 with taking the four inches out. So that is a, when you're only paying 11 to dollars for an item that helps you with your business, a tool that like that is very easy, very quick to use. You can use it over and over and over. I can't tell you, I've got a couple of them laying around here because I have one in the bag that goes on the road and I have one here. Um, it's, it's just a, a countless amounts of money. It's like using pirate ship or anything else. The best, you know, the best, anything you can do to save the couple extra dollars, that's money that goes directly to your bottom line. So um, it's important that, that the boxes, when they get that large, they become, um, uh, whatever the hell it's called, a chart, dimensional, dimensional weighting is what takes over, especially with UPS and, I'm sorry, yeah, UPS and FedEx. So, I hope that taught some, most of you people who, uh, who know all this stuff are just ignoring me right now. I'm just reaffirming what you already know, but, uh, to folks that are newer sellers, uh, it makes a huge difference. So, uh, say every bit you can, uh, do what's right by your business. The one thing I should mention is, uh, priority mail on that going to Texas here from Alabama on that package was $16.10. Um, let's see what, let's see what pirate ship is. Pirate ship. Yar, log me in. Oh, hey, Captain. Let's see if we save a little bit of money on It's It's too big for dimensional. I can go ahead and tell you that right now. Really? It's taking a sweet time to log in. I should have been more prepared than this. Normally, pirate ship's pretty quick log in. I must have told me too many people about it, and now they're, uh, now they're backed up. All right, well, we're going to pause this video here for technical difficulties. Please stand by. Please stand by. I don't know what's up with Chrome, but Chrome wouldn't let me connect to Pirate Ship, so I went through uh, Firefox. Um, it is $15.62, so it's about a dollar cheaper. Uh, and it's a... It's a um, it's a dollar more than than FedEx, but I'm paying with my debit card, so I'll get one percent back. So that's another what fifteen cents off. Um, so I would not drive my my uh, FedEx is all the way in town. It's probably twelve fourteen miles at one way. So you know it's a twenty five mile trip. So what do I spend in gas on that, or do I pay the by the time it comes out, it's it's less than a dollar to let take it to my post office with all the rest of this stuff. So sometimes you just have to choose what's best for you. Um, paying an extra dollar or two or three or four on for priority shipping over a ground rate, you save money in the long run. You know what? There's one commodity in this world you can't get back, and that is time. And uh, it is it is valuable. So treat it that way. I forgot to put the microphone back on because I'm testing this microphone today. So I'm going to get all my shipping done and then uh, I'll, I'll keep track of it. I'll let you know how many I use Pirate Ship and how many I use regular and we'll see what happens. So the, thir the air conditioner guy just left. I would warn everybody who's watching this video, do not buy a Nest thermostat. Ours has been in 13 months. I think it has a two-year warranty. It's going back to Costco. Um, the technician, nice guy, young guy, he said uh, in the last couple of years, he's seen nine to ten of these Nest thermostats fail, uh, short out. When Johnny was saying, last night I was sitting out here in my air-conditioned office, and she said, I got a text. It's hot in here. This stupid thing is blowing heat. I'm like, man, you're crazy. It's blowing hot air. You're crazy. Okay, she wasn't crazy. So the 
thermo <laughs> this thermostat was called for heat in air conditioning mode. Um, the back panel um, evidently had shorted out. Um, so he was able to temporarily fix it by jumping out the uh, the cold gas valve or something, whatever you call it. Anyway, I, I can undo it once I go buy another thermostat. This one, they do have a two-year warranty, so it's going back to Costco, and I'll get another one. But uh, I wish I'd have known this and how bad they were. I never would have bought one. There's other brands, Ecobee and others that you can use. Uh, I would avoid the Nest. Um, so all the shipping is done. I even had a person. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? I'm just going to leave that in there because that's what I do. Um, all the shipping's done. Someone bought a calculator to the 12C that I showed in the video a couple weekends ago. I got, I paid two dollars for it. Got 24.95 shipped. So uh, that was cheap. It's three dollars to ship it. So it's already in a box and it's I actually have to go to FedEx because the six phones ended up uh, USPS price was 23.45 and FedEx was like ten dollars and eighty cents or eleven dollars. So. Uh, for the 10 or 11 dollars, I will go ahead and drive to the FedEx place. Um, it happens to be on the same road Costco's on, so might as well go get another thermostat. All right, thanks for playing. Um, I'll leave this video open in case there, uh, in case there's other interesting things that happen in the world of, of pre-selling today. Uh, maybe I'll sell a few more things and I'll show you if I if I sell anything else. Uh, do the YouTube stuff, right? Bearded picker. Maybe out, maybe not. Depends on the day. It's awful early to be calling this a day at 9.49 in the a.m. So you ever think uh, <laughs> fate or the world is ever trying to tell you something? So uh, trying to leave my driveway, right? And there's this old couple uh, who had pulled into the driveway. They were looking around. They backed up out. And then he parked the car, got up, started walking down the driveway. And I, I was putting the boxes in the van and I'm like hey how are you what can I do for you he said uh do you know where the yard sale is around here I'm like no sir community yard sale was a couple weeks ago it's probably an old sign I was going to the yard sales and then I realized I had too much work to do so I didn't go but there's not one in this neighborhood today he's like oh okay well thanks a lot for your help maybe that was somebody telling me I was supposed to go to the yard sales today maybe that that wonderful treasure that I was so desiring and not knowing I was desiring was out there. It's just strange that when you make a decision, <laughs> always something crazy happens like that. Such is life for the bearded picker. Nobody else find it interesting but you guys. So I appreciate y'all uh, finding my quirky sense of humor uh, halfway entertaining. That egg trip is done. Um, just dropped off the one package. All the shipping's down. I'm gonna go back and start straightening up, but I have to go correct another mistake. So uh, I grabbed the biscuit, um, and it's right beside the car wash out in Meridianville. So I'm like, man, this van has gone through hell the last. I don't think I even washed it when I got back from California. It was so bad. So I uh, decided so I'd run it to the car wash, and then they have free vacuums. You know, I've got enough food particles and piece of paper and everything else under the sun stuck this is going to be an aggressive move right here zoom stuck uh under the, under the floorboards and everywhere else that uh y'all hear the racing van go that's awesome man did i even use the free vacuums well i just got back in the van and realized <laughs> i left the freaking floor mat to the driver's side uh laying on the ground at the car wash so hopefully somebody turned that in. Somebody was nice enough to uh, say, hey, there's some DA who came put his own floor mats back in this van. So, um, yeah, so I'm heading back to the car wash now. To... It's been one of them days. The air conditioner guy, that was $467 because four pounds of Freon in the unit plus the $158 service call. That was awesome. What a way to start Saturday. I probably should have gone to yard sales trying to make some money. But let's do the other side of that. Let's go home, clean up, straighten up that hellacious garage, and then do some listings the rest of the afternoon. What are your plans for Saturday of Mother's Day weekend?
during some time uh, with your mom. Uh, time is short, so one thing you can't get back. So uh, I'm just wasting it because I'm going back to the car wash. So here is said air conditioner that caused all the issues yesterday and all the money. You can see on the top of it, um, we had a hack free tree. We actually had three of them um, along the driveway. And they that's just turned all this crazy crap black. It's, a, it's real sticky. Um, you can look on top of the blue van. There's a lot of the same thing on top of the blue van. Um, Hackberry trees are no longer in existence here on the driveway because I cut them suckers down. But the one thing you can do on the air conditioner is just as a this is a helpful hit. Uh, if yours has the coils outside like this one does, the coils on this thing were, I'm sure they were black and they were everything was. It just makes it much harder for the air to come across and it works the air conditioner harder, so it's probably contributed to the link to the leak of the Freon making the pressure go up on this crazy thing to operate correctly get you a can of and yeah, let's go back to the building I've got one more can um, I bought these at a yard sale about know two three weeks ago um, still looks about the same in here um, you can't tell that I actually cleaned off the table and brought stuff back out but I did um, this stuff here is called coil cleaner basically uh it's almost like my air conditioner sitting down on the front of it basically all you do is take a um shake it up real good spray it on there let it sit for five to ten minutes and then you just rinse it off um it works on the smaller air conditioners too rinse it off with a water hose and then but the power's got to be off and then let it dry so then I'll, i let it sit for like 15 minutes and then i turn it back on and between adding the freon and uh all the other stuff it is working great um I'm, not, I'm doing this without a mount, so sorry. It's uh, it's working great, so I recommend that uh, that's something you can do to help make your air conditioner run easier, better, easier on a power bill when it doesn't have to work as hard to cool your house down. And if your wife is like my wife or a significant other, uh, she currently has a son of 69, so <laughs> I know I'm not complaining. You know she's she's at the age of the change and so she has lots of hot flashes and carrying on so she has control of the air conditioner and I'm all right with that you know as she says you can just get under a blanket no matter what time of year it is okay I can live with that so I just wanted to add an ending to the uh, video because it kind of just went abrupt as I'm sitting here making it um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there um, to the YouTube stuff I appreciate it and uh, I even forgot to enter on this video that's how good a Saturday it was I'm not sure when the next video will be. Probably the next one will be uh, the Tuesday morning show. So everybody turn in, tune in for Tuesday morning for some more wackiness, craziness. You never know what conversation we're going to get into on the reseller uh, breakfast club. So 7, 8 a.m. Central Time. Uh, me and the guys will, I don't know, will entertain you at least. For, you might learn a little bit, but you'll have a lot of entertainment. Good way to start your day. All right. Happy Mother's Day.